This question is about the application of the Bernoulli's term and the question is shown above which states that the turbine is used in a small hydroelectric plant along with 0.3 meter diameter pipe. If the discharge at B is 2 meter cube per second and the frictional head loss through the system is 5 meter, determine the amount of power that is transferred from the water to the turbine blades express your answer up to three significant figures first we will see that what we have been given in the question discharge is equal to q is equal to 2 meter cube per second diameter of pipe is equal to d is equal to 0 0.3 meter Elevation of point A is equal to Z, A is equal to 60 meter and the total frictional head loss through the system is equal to HL is equal to 5 meter. In step first we will calculate the velocity of flow through the pipe and as we know that velocity is given as discharge per unit cross sectional area is equal to Q divided by A is equal to Q divided by pi d square divided by 4. Putting values in the above equation, we get the velocity of flow through the pipe as 28.3 meter per second. In step second, we will apply the Bernoulli's term between point A and point B by taking the datum at point B. The Bernoulli's theorem is given as pressure at A divided by unit weight of water plus square of velocity at A divided by 2G plus elevation head of A plus head of pump is equal to pressure at B divided by unit weight of water plus square of velocity at B divided by 2G plus elevation head of B plus head of turbine plus total head loss through the system. As we see that point A and point B are open to the atmosphere so that the pressure at these two points will be equal to zero or the atmospheric pressure. Value of unit weight of water is equal to 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube velocity at uh, point A is equal to zero as it is the topmost point and it the water will be here at standstill position so velocity at point A will be equal to zero velocity at B will be equal to velocity through the pipe as point B is just at the exit point of the water Therefore, velocity at point B is equal to 28.3 meter per second, determined in the step first. Pump head will be equal to zero as there is no pump in the system as the water is flowing from higher elevation to the lower elevation. So there is no need of the pump. Elevation of point A is equal to 60 meter and elevation of point B is equal to zero as we are taking the datum at point B. We have to determine the turbine head from the equation and the total frictional head loss through the system is equal to 5 meter. Putting values in the above equation and solving for the head of the turbine, we get the value of the head of the turbine as 14.18 meter. This represents the head of the turbine generated by the flowing water. In step third, we will calculate the power transfer to the turbine. As we know that power transfer to the turbine is given as P is equal to gamma into Q into head of turbine. Putting values, we get the power transfer to the turbine as 278.212 kilowatt as we have to report the final answer up to the three significant figures we will write it as 278 kilowatt 
so this represents the power transferred to the turbine by the flowing water hope you guys learned from the video and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and classmates so that they can learn too thanks for watching